So hello, welcome back to our Online Wodang Academy, to our second episode of the Schwenwo Schwen series. We are doing the second sequence now. I hope you enjoyed the first part so far and you can do it. So now you're ready for the second. Uh, in this second part, we have uh, a lot of these sword hand positions and we have to do the, the explosive movement uh, most of the time. And the rest of the sequence is really short. So let's stop talking and start with the movements, okay? So uh, first we coming again from into this position. Yes, you see here. Yes. Now watch closely. Yes, the right hand turns to the hip, and the hand go inside like this. Yeah, you see. And you go here. One. You extend the shoulder part as long as possible. Two. Three. Go here. Elbow. Yes. You stay mabu. Let's do it one more time. Uh, only that you can see from the front. Yes, one time. Here, one, two, yeah. one, two, okay. Come here. Now, step. One, punch. Two, one, like arrows, and then go, one, yes, here, one, two, turn, okay, one more time in fluid motion. Now here, one, okay, I think this section is best if you watch this movement from the front, yes, so after the two times, yes, you're coming from here, after the elbow, yeah, your mabu here, you step close, forward, punch, farli, now punch, strike from the top. Yes. Now push the gravity center backward and turn the elbow. Now open the right hand. Left hand goes over the arm and go like this. Right hand is close to the eye. And the left hand look up. Siebo position. Okay, so let's do the full section in fluid motion, okay? Über. So. Okay, so um, please practice this full sequence, yes? And make sure that you have in these movements all the time this explosive fa li. Yeah? So let me tell you where exactly comes the fa li. Yeah? So here, yes. First one, you do stretching. Two fa li here. Yeah? Three fa li again with the elbow here. Yeah? Four, you do stretching. You punch forward, strong but slow. Then comes again the fa li movement. Powerful, but not explosive. Now again, one time, far li, you lean backward. You just turn, open the hand, and long but powerful, go into shebu. So what happens after the shebu position? Watch closely. Right, left, up, step, Step close with the right leg. Combo, tinsible, right heel is up. The movement is a little bit complicated, so let's do it slowly. Let me show you from the front, okay? One, left, right, right, left. Elbow, knee together. Circular motion. One, right, right knee up. Two, long. 
combo. Step close. All right. Again, one more time. From the other side, like the, like the other side here. Understand? So this was the second episode of Schwemmer Trend series. I hope you enjoyed this sequence. This sequence is short, but coordination wise a bit uh, complicated. Make sure you coordinate the explosive movement correctly with the breathing and relaxation. Before you go into Fali, make sure you relax, you breathe in and then go with pressure explosively into the movement till the sequence ends, okay? And when you're here at the Tinzebu, you'll finish the movement. So from here on, keep practicing the second sequence. I wish you good luck and see you next week for the third episode. Thank you and goodbye.